guys let's talk about top 10 african artists based on global digital ranking that is something i want to share with you guys when i first of all saw the list i was a bit disappointed but it is their own ranking digitally that is something i got to understand so they have to take a lot of things into awareness before they can rank this artist you need to understand that they took into awareness how their albums are doing globally that is something also you need to understand they check the platforms also to know how people are responsive to that album uh checking visitors you know playing that songs and all those kind of things so we have to really understand and stick to their own you know ranking i want to share this list with you if you don't really agree with this list why don't you make your own list in the comment section so that you can get to look at it together before i dive right in i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos i love you guys keep supporting afrobeat blog on the list so far i'm going to start from number 10 down to number one is going to be so disappointed for a lot of people and it's going to be so so interesting for a lot of people before i dive in i want you guys to note that this is not our opinion at afrobeat blog is the opinion of global digital ranking on number 10 we have fali pupa fali pupa is a fantastic artist and a congolese artist at that and this guy has actually achieved a lot of good feet in the music industry in africa and globally at the time and it's one of the biggest music artists when you talk about anglophone artist at the time they use french in singing and he has able to conquer uh the french uh, you know music environment to an extent and he's made impact recently he uh, shut down arenas in france and a lot of people were really excited for this guy even in uk where they speak english Fali Pupa, who does not speak english in his songs was able to shut down particular arena in the UK. Why don't we give this guy a round of applause? <laughs> Feli Pupa is a fantastic artist. Do you think that Feli Pupa merits this list? I want you to put your own opinion in the comment section. Number nine on my list is a person of Tyler. Tyler is a great artist, a Grammy awardee, and this lady has actually impacted in the music environment globally to an extent. And a lot of people are saying that his own style of singing should not be tied to Africa. Why some other persons are saying because she is African, we have to tie her own music style to Africa. That is what is really trending about this. Do you think Tyler sounds African? I want you to put your own opinion in the comment section. But Tyler is one of the biggest music artists from South Africa right now, and she is on a global scale and on a global stage right now, making impact globally at the time. She has worked with the likes of her, you know, Irasta and a lot of Nigerian artists, and a lot of people can really attest to that based on the successes of these songs. That is what I kind of understand about all of this. Number eight on my list is a person of Omale. Omale is a fantastic artist, a Nigerian artist from River State, and this guy is one artist I really admire in terms of storytelling to an extent. He tells this kind of emotional story and that has been working for Omale at the time. He was supposed to drop an album but somebody stole his idea but he has to go back to the studio and record some part of the album. That is what Omale is facing right now. I think Omale is a fantastic artist but people are trying to put Omale above Rema. Do you think Omale deserves to be above Rema? I want you to put out in the comment section your own opinion about all of this. Number seven on my list is Thames. Thames is a female Nigerian artist and she has made global impact with a lot of her works and contribution to you know artistry or to music to an extent. That is something I got to understand about the whole thing. But you need to understand that working with the likes of Beyonce, working for the likes of Rihanna is really really a big number for Thames at the time and she has worked with the likes of uh, Future and Drake that is also a big achievement she has something coming in at a time with one or few of these American artists. Thames should be regarded as one of the most successful uh, Nigerian female artists 
2024 based on her contribution to Afrobeat. What are your own takes about that? She has a new album already out and she is making a global impact with that album. Number 6 is a South African artist called Kabza the Small. This artist is one fantastic artist that has made impact in the South African music space and also African music space right now. Globally, this guy is making imprint in terms of digital sales. That is something I got to understand about this artist. What are your own takes about this artist so far? I want you to put your own takes in the comment section so that we can have a look at it together. Number five on this list is a person of Davido, Davido Obio. This guy is a fantastic artist, a Grammy Award nominee, and this guy has also made impact in the music space in Nigeria, Africa, and globally. That is something I kind of understand about Obio at the time. And he has one of the best um, you know, uh, outing in 2023 with his timeless album. He promised to drop a recent album that a lot of people are now awaiting. I think he has some streams, some good music out there that are doing numbers. I have to commend Obio at the time. What is your own take about that video? I want you to put that in the comment section what you feel about all of this. Number four, we have Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy should be regarded as one of the biggest Nigerian musician in 2024 based on the recent outing he's having. And he was able to sell out 80,000 capacity stadium uh, two times in the UK and became the first African artist to achieve that good feat. Bonner Boy is one of the biggest earner in terms of Afrobeat in 2024. That is something I got to understand by record saves at a time like this. Do you think Bonner Boy deserves to be on that spot? I want you to put out in the comment section your own opinion about all of this. Number three on my list, I have a person of Irasta. Irasta is a fantastic artist under Maven Records right now. That is Don Jazzy's daughter. <laughs> that is something I can say at the time. But a lot of people are really excited about her breakthrough right now. She is really making marks globally based on the recent you know, collaboration, partnership, and the rest with Universal Music Group and Maven Records and others, 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 others. That is what it is. And she has a lot of sweet songs out there, a lot of interesting storyline songs out there, and they are really making numbers at the time. What are your own takes about this? I want you also to put out in the comment section what you feel about the story. Number two on this list is Rema. Rema is a fantastic artist, and this guy has declared himself big four right now. A lot of people are having a dispute on that, but you have to understand that, you know, Rema has actually achieved a lot statistically when it comes to music. He was one of the best music artists in 2024 based on record sales. That is something I can tell you. And right now, he dropped a recent album, his and that album is being pushed globally and a lot of people are now tagging along that album. What is your own take about Rema? I want you to put that in the comment section. The first Nigerian artist to top chart in India to get a music award in China. That is a big one for Rema at a time like this. Number one on my list, you guys need to clap first. Number one on this list is Ashake. This guy is a fantastic artist. You know, one interesting thing about Ashake is that he has maintained this uh, cultural heritage, his background, and also pushed his sounds out there. And people are getting to accept the sound right now. That is what I kind of uh, really respect about this guy. What is your own take? He put out a recent album called Lungu Boy, and that album broke record within five days of releasing having 15.4 million streams on platforms or streaming platforms that is a big gamer for ashake what are your own takes about this kind of story i want you to put that in the comment section remember that ashake is still topping chat with his song featuring uh travis scott active on afro b board us that is what it is for ashake 
I think Ashake is a fantastic artist we need to watch out for at a time like this. I pray that Ashake sustain his uh, tempo at a time like this. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.